Hi short film fans, my name is Nathan Gardner and today I'm going to be reviewing the 2017 film The Silent Child. The Silent Child tells the story of Libby, a four year old who is profoundly deaf and has lived a silent life. She is empowered by a social worker, Joanne, to be able to communicate using British Sign Language. You don't just get good acting, great cinematography, you also get an amazing message. Chris Overton takes it to an audience in a way that I haven't seen for a long time. Five minutes into the film is one of the hardest hitting scenes that I have seen for a long time. Everything goes wrong. We have a scene in which we are put into the perspective of what it's like for Libby being in her family. A family that do not understand that she cannot communicate and think by sitting a, a deaf child in front of the TV, they kind of push the problem away. Now, it's interesting that they build the issue in that the family can't really communicate and they don't understand her in the fact that they hire a social worker at the same time. I mean, clearly they're trying to help their child, but I don't think they understand how. Things that I would say um, that are kind of standout moments um, are definitely the elements when we get to see the young actor, um, Maisie Sly and her development into uh, this, this new character from the beginning and, and this almost kind of like butterfly change that takes place throughout the film as she learns to communicate with um, Joanne, the social worker, but also the way that the family begin to embrace her disability. The film was written by Rachel Shenton, who plays the key character in the film. And I've watched a few interviews with uh, Rachel Shenton and she talks about trying to find the right actress and wanting to provide the opportunity for a profoundly deaf actress to take that role of Libby. Chris Overton's directing is absolutely amazing. The editing on this film from Slick Films is beautiful. I can see why this film is definitely an Oscar winner and won so many awards. If you are looking for a film that is going to make you cry, make you laugh, make you smile, and also at the same time kind of make you think, this is definitely a film that I would consider checking out if I was you. If you've enjoyed this review today, go check out our other reviews at cameolaunch.com forward slash reviews. You can also check out the podcast. Uh, you can like and subscribe wherever we're gonna put the link, which is gonna be one of those. And I'll see you next time when I'll be reviewing another great film. See you later, short film lovers. Mm -hmm.